Nats and Astros in Houston. Bottom of the first. Ross Detweiler on the hill for Washington facing Ben Francisco. And Francisco hits this one. Deep left. Kiss it goodbye. Francisco's second homer of the year as he makes it 2-0 Astros to the top of the second. Two outs and Danny Espinosa at the plate. And Espinosa is going to tie the game. See you later. Upper deck. And Danny with his 11th of the year. RBI total up to 38. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Two on, two out. 26-year-old Brandon Barnes making his major league debut. And Barnes grounds this one to second. He would finish 0 for 3 on the night. Moving all the way to the bottom of the ninth. Two on, two out. Ryan Matthews facing pinch hitter Brian Bogusevic, but gets Bogusevic to ground out to first. And we are heading to extras for the second consecutive night. To the top of the 12th, Michael Morse extends his career high hitting streak to 16. That one away back in center, and he has a leadoff double. Would be replaced by pinch runner Cesar Isturis. Later in the frame is Turris now a third, one out, and Espinosa at the plate again. That'll get the job done. It hits the bag. It was by everybody. The Nationals lead 3-2. to two. In the pool hall, they say chalk's free. And Danny with a spinner right up the middle. That's such a big hit for Danny Espinosa. So we go to the bottom of the 12th. Two on, two out. Tyler Clippard facing Brett Wallace. Fastball. That is well hit to left center. Bernadina. He's got it. And the game is over. Roger Bernardino saves the game. Are you kidding me? I've never seen anything like that in my life. He went behind the pad to where you couldn't even see him, climbed the wall, and made one of the greatest game-saving catches you'll ever see. I'd say Nats win in extras again. 3-2 the final this time as Espinosa finishes 2-5, for five, a homer, 3 RBIs, and Washington has won 4 in a row.